When you're out traveling and exploring new areas, flexibility is important to enjoying the journey. Expect the unexpected. Be prepared to make changes. This is our sixth day in Northern Colorado exploring new areas. While this day did not go as planned, it ended up being much better than I expected. Didn't work very well. I tried. Good morning. Good morning. It is day six of our Northern Colorado adventure. And we are camped. In the middle of nowhere. In the middle of nowhere. Um, we're not exactly sure where we are, um, nearby what, what towns, um, but we're in the beautiful Aspen Grove. We're all packed up. Unfortunately, James had to leave us early today. He got a phone call that his mom was sick, um, so they had to cut out early uh, to go check on her. So that's a bummer. We miss you, James. Love you and Betsy. Um, can't wait to do it again. So, um, so our agenda for today is to just keep exploring. Um, we, we have no real agenda. We've got no, you know, real final destination. We'd like to get to Rocky Mountain National Park, but, uh, if we don't, it's all right. We'll come back and do it again. So we're just going to keep exploring and it's a, it's a beautiful day. I would very much like to get up to a little higher elevation. We're at like 8,000 feet right now and it didn't get super cool last night. So I'd love to, to be back maybe above 10,000 feet tonight. Uh, but thanks so much for watching. I think it's going to be another fantastic day. Ozark Overland Adventures is proudly supported by The More Expo, the Midwest's number one adventure travel consumer expo. Artemis Overland Hardware. They have one of the largest selections of overlanding gear available. Big Iron Overland Rally, where Overland Expo meets music festival. Shop Overland Apparel, your source for Ozark Overland Adventures merchandise and more. Open Road Four Wheel Drive makers of affordable, high quality winches and recovery gear. Outback RV of Texas, the best place for overland adventure trailers. And Moon, makers of the Moonshade portable awning. just stopped for gas in a little town called Oak Creek. Cute little town. We got a little bit of highway and county road to go before we get to the next trail. But it's beautiful here. I don't mind driving on pavement when it's this beautiful. I love this Colorado countryside with all the old barns and old structures. It's just beautiful. Right, we made it to dirt again. It's very great in dirt. Well, let's go see what we can find. Bunch of campsites in this area. Easy to get to campsites. So lots of little RVs. Big RVs. next to the highway wouldn't be very quiet and peaceful. I mentioned this in yesterday's video, but if you really want to get out 
and find the secluded campsites, you got to get off the graded roads because you know the, the RVs and the van lifers, car campers, uh, they can they can get to these. So there's 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 a whole lot of, of those people. So if you want to find the good campgrounds, you got to get into the more rough stuff. So hopefully we'll find some some more rugged technical trails here in a little bit. Behind the scenes goose cam. This is what he does. All day. Let's well, ride camp. And then he's not even doing nothing. This whole area must have been hit by a forest fire. Look at that hill up there. It's sad to see this area all burned up like this. Yeah, but it's a, it's a necessary process. On Glacier, they were talking about that, and how certain kind of pine cones literally have to have a forest fire for them to germinate. What is Smokey the Bear's catchphrase? Only you can prevent forest fires. What about lightning? That's what I've been sitting here thinking. I'm like, that's such a false statement. It says only you can prevent them, not only you can start them. This wildfire area was part of the Silver Creek wildfire back in 2018 that lasted from July to October and engulfed more than 20,000 acres. That summer was particularly dry and this is one of 229 wildfires that burned in Northwest Colorado that year, one of the worst on record. While the Silver Creek fire was caused by a lightning strike, seeing the destruction four years later reminds us to never be careless with our campfires, our vehicles, cigarette butts, since 85% of all wildfires are caused by humans. Hey, I was hoping you would stay, but I've always known that you would go find your own way. I still see when we climbed up in those trees, 12 years old, feel the wind, watch the river run. Would always shine when we sat there, you and I. The river's gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. The river's gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. The river's gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. The river's gonna cry when you're gone. We've been driving for a few hours now, and so far, I mean, we're just cruising on dirt roads. I mean, they're pretty, but uh, I mean, nothing particularly wowing us. Um, this route National Forest is radically different than where we came from the last few days. If you haven't watched those videos, be sure and do that because the scenery where we were is just just done unreal bonkers. Uh, this one is a lot different just down in the trees no no streams no beautiful you know bluff line views uh, we're about to pop on the highway for just a couple miles and then get back off again I'm hoping it uh, gets a little bit different there
just one random cow. Hey, cow. Nope, nope, there's another cow taking a nap. Wish they'd stop crapping in the road. Because I keep having to dodge cow patties. Because you don't want to run over that. It makes a big mess on your Jeep. Or your, or your Toyota. Or your whatever. It's not good. I hope nobody drove through that fresh poop. Men did. Well crap. Just saying, since you've had a driver this whole time, if these drone shots aren't as epic as Rob's, you just have to be wasted Dave's time. I hope to make Rob proud. It's amazing what just crossing the highway can do for the terrain and the scenery. While this trail wasn't technical at all, the views opened up and we had some nice shelf roads to enjoy, making for a much better day. Well, from lunch, we are deviating from our planned ride a little bit just because things on the first few days took longer than we expected. So we're cutting the section off to get into a little bit more eastern section um, of the Rockies in preparation of tomorrow going into Rocky Mountain National Park. So that's the plan. We're just cutting off a little, um, a little section, hitting some pavement and some graded county road, and then reconnecting with where we were going to be anyway. We found a nice little spot for lunch, uh, just outside of Radium Springs. Sounds like something from the Cars movie. But just down there is the Colorado River. Uh, I was hoping we'd have a view of it, but you know, trees. But, but it's down there, promise. We saw it earlier. Um, just stopping for a quick lunch and potty breaks and gonna continue on. We have definitely moved into a more high desert type of environment here so the terrain has changed quite a bit from where we started uh, lots of variety on this um, on this trip with the high wildflowers and the alpine lakes and now we're down in the more uh, high desert kind of area it's uh, been a lot of variety I, I definitely have my preferences over which ones I like better but uh, it's been good. So we're gonna we're gonna carry on. Well, we've decided to call an audible here and we're airing up our tires and we're actually gonna go to Rocky Mountain National Park right now. We're only 
an hour from there and I, I think Robert and Carrie are gonna get us a uh, get all of us an Airbnb or something for the night and then we'll come I think actually gonna come back to Rocky Mountain National Park tomorrow and try to experience all that there is um, so uh, we're, we're airing up and then we're gonna head to Rocky Mountain National Park and see what we can find and um, it, it should be good so don't go anywhere we, we got some cool stuff coming up all right here's my little tip for this video y'all know I love guy GPS it is hands down the best tool for planning a trip like this and it has been what I have used to plan and navigate this trip exclusively it because it, it just is so powerful and one of the things that makes it so powerful are the layers you, you've got so many map layer options that it's just incredible so I get asked all the time what layers I use and I actually changed it up a little bit on this one so so let me show you so here's my here's my Gaia um, here's my layers um, there we go so normally I have a, a whole bunch of different layers but on this trip I have been using the new Gaia Overland layer which has been absolutely fantastic that is my new go-to layer um, it has had everything in it uh, I like the shaded relief just because it gives a, a little bit more uh, definition to the to the topo maps the the public lands great to have handy but i haven't needed it on this trip because the guy overland layer has everything in it mvum layer is a must uh it with the guy overland layer uh just makes a fantastic combination but since we are about to go into rocky mountain national park um i've got the nps visitor layer nobody else has this take a look let, let me look at this uh, let me zoom out here go over here uh here we go so this is rocky mountain national park it is the actual in national park service map like the map that you get when you go to the visitor center this is it um it's absolutely fantastic so you have the official national park service map in, in gaia which is has which is just so awesome because you've got every single trailhead every visitor center um every you know bathroom stop uh, you just got it all in there. So um, th that's that's the layers that I've used for this trip. Um, the National Park Service layer is fantastic. The fact that the motor vehicle use map layer is in there and the new Gaia Overland layer is blowing me away. It's my new go-to layer. So I, I hope that helps. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. Um, if you're not familiar with Gaia or if you've never you tried Gaia before, there's a link in the description for I think 25% off uh, your first year of Gaia Premium. So go check that out. I've got tutorials on my on the YouTube channel to, to help you get started with it, um, but can't speak highly enough about Gaia GPS for a trip like this. Well, we made it into the park and it's pouring down rain. There's actually a flash flood watch right now. That's going to make it real interesting. If anyone knows when Rocky Mountain National Park was hit by this forest fire, put it in the comments. The aspens over here to the right, um, the bark is not black and they're just all kind of leaning over. It's wild. It's kind of crazy. We are climbing an elevation through the park. We're at 9,700 feet elevation right now. And it's been raining and we are seeing cars pass us with snow on the hoods. And we're, there's snow on the side of the road here too. So either it's still snowing up here or it was snowing really hard up here earlier. Um, that's just, that's crazy. The temperature is steadily falling. It's 46 degrees which is the coldest temperature we have encountered during the daytime on this entire trip but god driving through this park is gorgeous not a big fan of the traffic but it's still gorgeous <laughs> Well, we're 
we're now driving on slush at the end of July. Try to shift into four low. And there's a decent amount of snow up there on the hillside. That's crazy. Crazy. See, told you. That's a big guy. There's two of them now. An even bigger one just came out. Wow. And now a third one's coming out. God, look how big those antlers are. Wow. Well, that was it was absolutely like a awesome. car and the bigger ones just keep coming. That's true. That, that, that made my day. That was awesome. Um, those three big elk getting that close, that was awesome. I'm gonna be completely honest. I did not want to come to Rocky Mountain National Park today. I wanted to continue on trail. I wanted to camp tonight. <sighs> but I am so glad we did. I, I, I have no regrets in coming here now because the scenery is unreal. And we saw the elk and it snowed. And now I know that I'm super pumped about coming back tomorrow and just really just spending all day here. There's a, there's a dirt road called Falls River Road um, that we're going to come in on tomorrow. And I'm super pumped about that. Now there's like a waterfall along it. It's, it's the old road that used to, to come through here. And, and, and I'm really pumped. So hopefully for the next video, you'll be okay if it's all Rocky Mountain National Park. And, and not, you know off-road trails well I mean it's one off-road trail but you know what I mean so if you're okay with that hit that subscribe button hit the bell notification little button there so that you know when we upload that content it'll it'll be the next Friday video and even if you're not okay uh, hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed because uh, we would love to get to 75,000 subscribers by the end of this year and need your help to do so so if you're watching and you, you're not subscribed go go subscribe please free to please Thank you. Well, we just had an amazing dinner in Estes Park. Now we're just walking around downtown. This is such a cool town. Um, getting some, getting some desserts, some, some ice cream, and some taffy. Goose has on his Ozark Overland Adventure shirt. I can't walk. Goose. Nope, don't you back the camera. Nope, stop it. 
We got the zoomies. Rah, don't bite the camera. Well, we have made it to our campsite for the night. The very fancy La Quinta Inn and Suites campsite. A uh, little, uh, little less rough in it tonight, but we have had a really, really good day. Glad we made it to Rocky Mountain National Park. Uh, Karen and I will be spending all day tomorrow there. Everybody else has to go home, so she and I have the day to ourselves. Um, and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna spend it at uh, Rocky Mountain National Park. Uh, with with the goose, of course. Goose, goose, ah, goose, ah, goose. Anyway, uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. Next week's video will be all about tomorrow um, at Rocky Mountain National Park. So um, be sure and subscribe. Hit the like button uh, if you did. Hope you did. And uh, check out our Patreon if you want to, uh, you know, follow along in our adventures, support us, and and our dream of doing this, being on the road full time in three years, and. Uh, gain access to our GPS data, special content that we put out, that sort of thing. And go to shopoverlandapparel.com for um, all our merchandise and patches and t-shirts and all that good stuff. Anyway, we'll see you next time. Bye.